here's where I'm at with Derek Carr as 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 a topic and basically a story this off season. I I'm good with the moratorium on talking about Derek Carr. I'm ready to put this story to bed. But the the, the reality of the matter is it's the biggest story going right now. Whether you want it to be or not, whether I want it to be or not, it is what it is. This is a franchise quarterback that's getting ready to move teams after almost a decade of being with the team. I'm I'm past the fact Derek Carr's leaving. I'm good with it. Let, let's I'm ready for new. That's all been processed, done in the past. Now it's all about what are you getting in return? Because you're already looking at a solid 11 picks already. What are you going to get back for this guy? I still think there's a possibility of a second. I think a second may be a reach. Maybe it's more realistic a third. But I still think you can have a conversation for a second round pick out of Derek Carr. And even a third round pick is somebody that you can definitely plug in this year and help you out immediately with what you're trying to get done uh, for the 2023 season. Immediately. So I, I think this is, this, this is an important storyline. Not just because it's Derek Carr, you know. I, I it's not it's not about the person. It's more about the position and the commodity that it is now, because this is a huge commodity, and you've got to get something in return for your commodity. You you just do. You put too much in to Derek Carr to not get anything back. And I'm okay with him going to the Saints. I misspoke a little earlier in the uh, uh, the post that I had put up. Um, because, you know, typically you play these teams every four years. But this, um, and I was thinking because they played the Saints this year, but the Saints were the, the off-conference game. Um, they do play the Saints again in 2024. Uh, but, and the reason I said I didn't want to see Derek Carr in the AFC isn't because I have fear of Derek Carr leading another team, taking down the Raiders, any of that. I just, I just think it's unnecessary and unneeded drama. Put Derek Carr in the NFC where you may play this guy once, maybe twice at most the rest of his career. Put him over there where now you've just completely separated yourself from each other. Completely. You don't have to have the conversation. You're not going to have him coming to town every year or you go into where he's playing every year or God forbid you play each other twice a year. I think that's utterly impossible considering who's a place in all of the quarterbacks in the AFC West, but crazy things happen. I'm just saying, I don't, that's the only reason I don't want to see him in the AFC. It's just, it's just unneeded drama. Bullshit. I, I don't want to have to fucking talk about it. <laughs>